Hi, everyone. Hello. Uh, I'm Tim, and uh, this is Elise. Elise, do you want to introduce yep. yourself? Um, so I'm Elise. I'm a change and culture specialist from BT. Um, I've worked for BT for just over two years now. Um, so we sit in, in the digital customer facing unit. And yeah, we've been working on a project with Apps, the fabulous Apps Broker. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm Tim Berry. Um, I've been with Apps Broker uh, just over two years. Um, I joined Apps Broker to start the Apps Broker Academy. So we're a Google authorized training partner and uh, we deliver uh, training on Google Cloud and, and other things. Um, so I wanted to start by uh, asking you about your job title. Mm. At least you're a data change and culture specialist. Yes. Have I got that the right, the right way around? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that that's an interesting job title, isn't it? Yeah. So, so what does that mean? Yeah. So we um so we are the data change and culture team. Um, so we yeah so we work within data and AI in the again in the digital customer facing unit. So we exist to um, to ensure that our colleagues fully understand and, and are aware of the opportunities that are available to them within data and AI. So we've been predominantly working on the data acceleration program, which is um, a program within BT where we're, we're trying to transform, sorry, Kelsey, I know you don't like that word, <laughs> trying to transform into um, from a traditional telco into a market leading technology business. So we're migrating all of our data onto the Google Cloud. And so, so our role within that is to ensure, you know, you can have the best technology in the world, but if no one knows how to use it, what is the point? So we're there to ensure that our colleagues are set up for success, are able to adopt and, and execute these, these new technologies in the business. So, I mean, it sounds like you've actually got the right definition of transform there. So I think we would get Kelsey <laughs> and Grace's approval, hopefully. You know, you know what it is that you want to transform want to into. Yeah. Totally. Um, but it's it's a big ask, isn't it? What, what was the ask that the business yeah. came to you with? Yeah, so the, so the business was saying, you know, as we're migrating more and more of our data onto the cloud, um, the the, the 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 focus on the readiness of the business to adopt that technology was increasing. So so we need to to get upskilling them, getting them adopting this cloud and using it and innovating with it um, as soon as possible. So we launched obviously um, we wanted to launch a scaled learning offering to all colleagues that are impacted, um, and we tested that first with a with a pilot, which is where we we came to you for your brilliant expertise and to to collaborate with us on. Yeah, because it's a, it's a lot of people. And, it, yeah. and I think, you know, when people talk about training, sometimes people think it's a, it's not the most exciting topic. But ultimately, if you want to use all these cool new things, yeah. people need to be taught how to, they need to learn how to use them. <clears throat> not everyone has an intrinsic knowledge of this stuff. Yeah. And, the, you know, an organization like BT, it's fair to say it's a mature organization. So you probably have a lot of people with, uh, you know, a lot of experience in other areas or traditional systems, but new to sort of, you know, cloud native uh, stuff. Yeah. Um, so, you know, what was your approach then? How did you kind of, you know, how did you choose a partner? How did you kind of come up with what the, the program is? And, you know, bearing the lead here, this is all just self-promotion, obviously. But <laughs> what was it that, 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 that brought you to us? Um, yeah, so, so we knew we wanted to go kind of beyond Google Cloud certifications, we think are a fantastic offering because there's on-demand content. And, and through using that, it meant that we would have colleagues who would really understand kind of the breadth and depth of the Google Cloud. But we wanted, we, we needed a learning provider to, to offer us kind of bespoke and custom training for our colleagues. So that's where we did, you know, a full statement of requirements. Um, and we went to a few different learning providers and had some learning proposals back and, and Apps Broker, you, you, you came to us with this fantastic idea of kind of collaborating with our SMEs in the business. I really wanted to understand. So in BT, we call our, our Google Cloud platform the, the cloud data hub within the GCP. Um, and you wanted to find out what our guard, guardrails and what our parameters were that we're using with our CDH. So you've been working in collaboration with them to, to, to be able to create bespoke content that will not only teach our, our, our colleagues you know, how does Google use, use GCP, but also how is BT using and executing CDH within the Google Cloud platform?
helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're, we're working, um, as you know, on um, our product boot camps. Yes. So five key product areas for BT, uh, BigQuery, Cloud SQL, Vertex AI, Cloud Spanner, and Dataflow. Yeah. Um, interestingly, you know, I made a note here. I'm going to keep bringing it back to Grace and Kelsey because it makes what I'm saying sound more interesting. Mm. Um, you know, talking about specialists in the business. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, so you can have specialists who, you know, their day job is to do useful and valuable things with BigQuery. Yeah. They don't necessarily need to know the rest oh, of the that. stack. Yeah. 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 So we've decided to go. So we've got um, a Google Cloud learning pathway, which is kind of that all encompassing, fully structured, fully um, supported um, learning offering, which is for our, our for building a critical mass of, of data experts within BT. And then we're hoping that they're going to eventually become our kind of wayfinders and the ones that are going to be really drive us to become that cloud mature organization. Um, and, and then we've also got an offering for, for the, the kind of the vast majority of C, the cloud data hub users in the business who we really just need that injection of skills at a pace. So we've got, you've designed these, these product-based boot camps, which is a monthly boot camp where, where colleagues can just concentrate on the specific tooling that they're going to need to engage with and what's going to help them to kind of continue being successful in their role. Um, so we've got, we've got a few different options, which we hope will fit the needs of quite a lot of, of the impacted colleagues. Yeah. And um, we found those really interesting to work on because as I said, you know, BT being quite a mature organization in the cloud environment already, yeah. you know, if you take Cloud SQL, for instance, um, whereas normally if we were delivering a Cloud SQL bootcamp, we might start with, you know, a click ops approach. This is how you go through a console, spin up an in, uh, the, the console, spin up an instance at BT. It's more, you know, this is the uh, repo where the Terraform modules are. And, yeah. and that's how you, you spin up Cloud SQL at BT. Um, and you mentioned the certification <coughs> program. So obviously certification is still a, a big part of it. It's, it's valuable to have certified individuals. Like you said, the certification is important because it's it's also a way for, for us to kind of invest in our colleagues as well. Um, and there's such an appetite for, for the certifications in the business. And you've also designed, you know, these, these fabulous uh, sandbox environment within those boot camps. So where colleagues can get really hands-on within that specific tooling. Um, and then we've also wrapped with your um, <clears throat> bespoke training, we've, we've been able to wrap the like dov data governance processes that are also kind of wrapping around the, 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 the tooling so that they, 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 our colleagues feel confident that they know as, as soon as this training's finished, okay, what do I need to do? What's in it for me? How do I, again, continue being successful? Um, so yeah, hopefully it's this all encompassing learning program that, that at Broker, we, we, yeah, you've been so important in, in helping us be successful with that. <laughs> awesome. Um, and within those certifications, we're covering associate cloud engineer, professional cloud architect. I know you already know this, yeah. sorry, uh, data engineer and machine learning engineer. So yeah. talk us through kind of what's the, um, what's the experience for say someone on the data engineering pathway? Are they looking at, you know, sitting in a classroom for three weeks? Again, I already know the answer to this obviously, but yeah. you know, we'll talk, talk us through what, what that looks like. Yes. We've done it as a hybrid approach, um, because obviously we've got, we've got key technical delivery milestones that we need to achieve. So we're, we're trying to do the learning alongside BAU. BAU can't stop, so it needs to yeah needs to happen at, at the same time. So we've got we asked for twelve. It's an intensive course. So it's twelve hours for twelve weeks, um, which they have to have that, that dedicated commitment to the learning um, outside of BAU for those twelve hours. Um, and and then once, once they've done that, they've also so they've got on demand content within those twelve hours. They've got sandbox environments. They've got the ILT the instructor led training session with yourselves um, and you know we're hoping that it, it's technical but then they should also get a certification at the end of it um, and yeah so we've got data engineers that, that are happening at the moment we've also got the cloud architects it all depends as well on what the needs of the business are so at the moment you know data engineers was our key focus and our priority candidates to candidates colleagues to upskill um, so we kicked off and, and launched with, with that learning program um, but we can also pick it on that as well as, as 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 we go through the year you know as as milestones change and the needs of business change we can we can we've got the the advantage of being able to be flexible and, and pivot where we need to as well yeah we, we found it really interesting in in the pilot I think the the benefit of that blended approach has been you know rather than having all one way or all the other you know if mm. you do all the on-demand training 
marketing. That might work well for some people. Some people can hothouse themselves through online videos, but you know, everyone's different and, and yeah. a lot of people learn in different ways. Um, and some people respond really well to classroom training and being in, in that environment for, for an extended period of time. But, but usually to, to sort of, you know, catch the most fish, if you like, the, the, there's somewhere in the middle works better where you can kind of, uh, especially as you say, you know, when you've got a commitment to your BAU time, you, you can't sacrifice too much time yeah. for training where you do uh, uh, most of the components online, but you space it out and then you you intersperse that with activities. Yeah. And then we do these consolidation sessions. So we're giving people a chance to speak to an instructor, yeah. recap some of the more complex, uh, um, you know, concepts that are coming up in this training. Uh, a lot of the people I know we've been teaching are very new to the cloud. So, you know, sitting through architecting with computer engine, for example, a lot of these are very new concepts. So just being able to talk to someone at the end of that, uh, uh, and you know, for, for that one day, talk to the topics that they, they struggled with, yeah. um, can, can be really helpful. Um, and then, you know, in the case of the certification pathways, helping prep them for the exam as well, yeah. that's been really good. Yeah, definitely. Um, and so what's, you know, what's next, what comes at the end of, of that 12 month program? Yeah. So I think, you know, we're, we're going to be at the end of the 12 month program, we're hoping that, yeah, we're going to have those skills and capabilities embedded within our teams at BT that's going to, yeah, continuously, yeah, drive us to become more cloud mature. And we hope that, you know, the people that we have upskilled will then be able to, yeah, they're, they're our wayfinders, our champions. Um, and yeah, it becomes almost like it, it's at the point of need, um, mm. that, that learning transaction. But um, we want it to advocate, you know, platform thinking. So it's going to, we're, we're setting colleagues up for success once they've migrated, that they can innovate with, with Google Cloud. They can create solutions from BT's data and be brave and, and you know, be bold and, and, and yeah, drive pounds per petabytes, as we say in BT. Yeah. Um, so it's creating that platform level thinking for our learners. It's not just the transaction, the, the, tra the transaction of skills. It's also, you know, the making them want to innovate and, and be excited about using Google Cloud. Um, yeah. I mean, I think bringing it back to what you were saying about the transformation piece at the beginning, hopefully what we'll have done then at the end of that 12 month program is we'll have been, you know, injected enough of that, that new kind of way of thinking and those new skills yeah. so that they just continue continue to grow organically yeah. with, within the business, you know, even as, you know, obviously people come and go, um, and, and, and things change, but, but we've, we've transformed enough people in, internally that that will continue to grow Be from embedded. there. Yeah. yeah. Within the teams, definitely. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Um, I think we've got a, another minute or so for, if there's any questions in the room. I should also have said at the beginning, um, apologies for uh, the, the change of program. So the, who we, the people we were going to have here from BT unfortunately couldn't make it at the last minute. So at least it did very kindly <laughs> step in. Um, Thank you. For, <laughs> I think there's a, there's a question back here. Hi, thank you. Um, you mentioned about uh, the, the customization or the uh, the training uh, and mentioned about Terraform modules. Those uh, Terraform modules, were they uh, developed in-house within like in BT as part of the kind of product development? So was there kind of some kind of handover or collaboration with these uh, product developers or say BigQuery Terraform module developers? Um, and then that passed on. How did that, how did that work? Yeah, so, so what, what our job as, as the trainers is there is basically to look at what BT have developed internally, what their processes are. In that case, you know, what are the Terraform modules they've written? Um, what, what are the processes that, what are they telling their developers and their data engineers to do with those modules? And then integrate that into the training. You know, a lot of the off-the-shelf training we do, I mean, it's, it's very good stuff, you know, no disrespect to Google, but it, it is based on someone learning this stuff from scratch as new, again, using that click ops approach. And that's great when you're learning, but that's not what you're going to be doing in, in, in your day job in production. So it was important for us to kind of, you know, have those SME conversations, like we said, and, and so that we can teach the engineers at BT who are new to using BigQuery in BT exactly how to use it properly according to their own, own processes. Thank you, Elise. I think we were fortunate. We were the winners today getting you here. Thank you for being a part of it. And thank you, uh, Tim and Team Appsbroker, once again for the conversation.